I'm gonna make smoked jalapeno popper dip with Smithfield hometown original bacon. Let's get it. I'm getting the big green egg fired up with the oil soaked paper towel. Putting eight strips of bacon right on the griddle. While the bacon's crisping up, here's a look at everything else we're gonna be using today. Once that bacon's nice and crispy, it's time to get it off and chop it up. Let's get everything in the mixing bowl. We're gonna start with two blocks of cream cheese, one third cup of mayonnaise, one third cup of sour cream, one cup of shredded mozzarella, one cup of shredded cheddar. Now I need to cut up the vegetables. I'm gonna start with the green onions, slicing some to go inside the dip and some more to go on top as a garnish. Now moving on to the jalapenos, I cut off the stem, slice them in half, and then I'm gonna use a spoon to get most of the seeds out to control the heat. I'm gonna slice this one jalapeno into rings to go on top of the dip, and then the rest of them I'm going to dice. Next I'm gonna add in that crispy Smithfield bacon. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of pepper and about the same of garlic powder. Now I need to get it all mixed and add it to a grill safe pan. It's time to get it in the big green egg. I have it dialed in right at 350 degrees. After about 10 minutes, I convert it to indirect cooking by adding the heat deflector so that it won't burn on the bottom. You could have started out this way, but I honestly didn't even think about it. It's been cooking for right at 20 minutes. I'm gonna take grated Parmesan and put it right on top here. Also crush some Ritz crackers that I'm going to sprinkle over the top. It ended up being one tube of Ritz crackers. And then for presentation purposes, I'm gonna put some jalapenos on the top. And if you're at a big party, this also helps identify this as a spicy dish for people. Along the same lines of thinking, a lot of people have a strong aversion to onions. So if you sprinkle some of these green onions on top, they not only look nice, but it also lets people know that this is a dip with onions. So now I'm gonna close the top again and we will cook it until it bubbles in the center. It should be another 10 minutes. It's now bubbling in the center, so I'm going to take it off. There are a lot of different options you can use to scoop this out. I'm gonna go with a pita chip, but you can definitely go with Ritz crackers or any other assortment of crackers. Now it's time for that first bite. I can't explain how good this is. It's definitely gonna be a hit while you're watching the game. Let's eat y'all.